Welcome back for another edition of our Work Now initiative. This morning, we're talking with Dominique Ingram, who is the owner of Problem to Solutions here, spotlighting some more job opportunities. Dominique, thanks so much for taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me today. First off the bat, tell us a little bit about what Problems to Solutions is for those that don't know. Kind of explain that. So um, Problem to Solution is just that we, mitig we help mitigate risk and we help walk each client from problem to solution. One problem at a time, one solution to it at a time. And we work with agile types of projects. And what I mean by that is we go into small companies as well as Fortune 500 companies to help them with huge changes that may be taking place. So I've worked and partnered with companies such as Ryder, HP, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, Charles Schwab, even City. And so all those companies are not only change management companies, but they have an IT background as well. Right. And companies that specialize in a lot of different things. Right. So it can be in any arena, whether it's banking, um, transportation, um, all companies go through changes. Um, as you can imagine, I'm sure that you guys go through a lot of changes too, whether people leave in or out, or you have massive projects that you have to deal with. Um, somebody has to manage that, and that's where I come in to assist. Absolutely, that makes sense. So speaking of changes, how has the pandemic affected what you do? And, and kind of going forward, what, what changes can you kind of see? That's a, that's a good question. So I will say that um, typically we've gone and flew out to client site, whether it be in D.C., New York, or wherever the client was. That's where I and um, subordinates will have to go. Um, during the pandemic, it kind of forced us to kind of have to do things through WebEx, Zoom, kind of like how we're doing right now. So we've had to find all sorts of tools like Mural and um, websites to make things user friendly for the clients to be able to come in and do not only their job better, but for us to communicate with them in a better way, if that makes sense. So we've had to transition from going in person to being face to face via video to do everything hundreds of miles apart. So, wow. Wow. Do you feel like problem to solution has helped a lot of companies with the pandemic and everything having to, to communicate this way? Do you feel like that's been something that you guys have specialized in? During Absolutely. This time? Absolutely. Because here's the thing. We saw a problem. So we can't cry about it whenever a problem presents itself. If COVID comes, then we have to quickly rebound just like the Lakers do and figure out another way to pass the ball to put it in the net. So we didn't spend much time crying about it. We stayed up late probably the first day that things went down and said, OK, we have a client here in D.C. We have another one in New York. This is how we're going to service them. And we're going to put each person on each project. Mm -hmm. We're not going to spread ourselves thin, but our customers shouldn't have to feel the impacts from our business. So the first component of any business should be people. You mm -hmm. come up with a strategy to how you take care of the client because the client is your your end decision every time. And right. from that, you make sure you establish the processes so that you can come through and make sure you can service that client. And then you move to the procedures piece. Processes and procedures can be different. So make sure that your internal structure is set up so it can support the processes that are needed for the people. Give us a little bit of, about your background and sort of the education you've had to have to be able to, to do what you do. Well, I, I am born and raised from uh, Mississippi. In fact, Macon, Mississippi, which I'm sure you guys are acquainted with. Oh, yeah. So um, I got credit. I guess Mississippi State, I have a bachelor's in information systems, marketing, as well as the MBA, master of science in information systems degree, several um, certifications, which include a PMP, SPC, green belt, and a couple of others that you guys don't care about. But the whole goal was to make sure that my, cu my customers and my client didn't have to go to like large corporations in order to get things done. Um, I would be able to train people in-house in order to do the work. No. So we- No, go ahead, sorry. No, so that's the whole point. And I'm, I'm guessing it's a segue to what we can offer people around the Golden Triangle area. So I'm born and raised from Mississippi and it's still in my heart day to day. So whereas people from my hometown have to drive from, I guess, 30 miles away just to go to a part-time job, I still have that hustle in me. Uh -huh. And so what I'm saying is that you can sell $1,500 courses with my business and make $50 and not even have to put in the hours of work. So when you look at it, it's about what you can offer the client. And what we can offer 
is trained representatives that come out much better. Project managers, as I'm sure you've heard of. Mm. Um, I give certifications for that for scrum masters. So okay. essentially how the commission role would work is every time they kind of release a scrum master or a sale for a product manager, uh -huh. they would make a sale and they would make commission just like that. Okay. That, that actually makes sense even to, to me. Now for yes. those people in the, the golden triangle that want to join problem to solution, the training is what you mentioned is a, is a big part of it. So they don't need to have the, the extensive education and background like you have, correct? They don't, they don't, but they will know and I'll be able to coach them in understanding what it is they're selling. And then once they make the sale themselves, they're probably going to become interested in the product. Because here's the thing, if you're certified as a scrum master, it kind of can lead you into a position to where you can make anything between 75K to 150K. So I bet that interests a lot of people. Um, to enter into the tech world can be hard. And I've received a lot of questions. I've received people asking me, hey, Dominique, how can I get into the tech world? You work with part Fortune 500 companies. What's the walk? And it's great that you have a degree. The degree is the icing on the cake, but it's not the cake batter, right? right. So what you need is a way to come in to win the client over to show responsibility. After you get your degree, you need the candles, right? <laughs> on the cake. Yeah, absolutely. So essentially what the certification is, is the candle. It's the wow effect. So now you've gone in and you've got that IT, that business degree, or even if you went into education and you figured out, hey, I wanna take a new approach. Mm -hmm. What you wanna do is come in and get certified in your area so that you can become specialized in order to service the client. Right. Now, are you seeing with your clients a high demand for what it is you do with problem to solution? I mean, everybody that Absolutely. we pretty much talk to, they're looking for workers. And I imagine it's the same for you guys as well. Oh, it's knocking on the door. So if you go and I'll tell people as they're looking, if you want to know how on demand um, the certification is, Google or type in Scrum Master into LinkedIn and mm -hmm. see how many roles come, come up. Literally right. thousands of jobs out there. So you have to think about it. It doesn't matter where you're in LA, whether you're in Macon, Mississippi, you can be working remote with a role like this. So if you start to sell it and you see what it's bringing and you decide that you want to take that route, you want to be serious, you can get the certification in as small as two days. Now the certification itself is $1,500, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, we do run like discounts from time to time. And it's great to think about the opportunities that are out there. You know, you've talked about those thousands yeah. of jobs when really it's just the only thing that's keeping you from being able to apply is, is maybe the training. You have to. And so when you think about it, whether, you, whether you're applying to McDonald's at the, um, I guess, the level where you're going in at store level or mm -hmm. whether you're going in at corporate level, they are two different roles. But here's the thing. A person going in at store level can dress up in a suit, but it's about the questions and the competence level that they're expecting. So if you're going in and you don't have certain credentials, they're going to expect for you to work at a certain level. But if you present yourself like, hey, I have a Scrum Master cert and I have a product manager cert, well, they're going to say, hey, you may be applicable for some of our corporate level roles. Wow. So the more education you have or the more certification or specializations you place yourself in, you're kind of choosing your position in the company that way makes it all that much easier. For people that, that want that training for problem to solution, how can they go about doing that? They can come to the website if they would like to come and um, be trained by us. We do train on the weekends because we know most of our clients and our employees work through the week and they partner with me and my project coordinator, Liz Gregory, uh, which I'm so grateful for. Um, she has a full-time role out there in Brooksville, Mississippi. Okay. So um, we are looking. And Mississippi is close to my heart. So anybody who wants a certification, we are running a special. If they reach out to me for Mississippi, we'll give a 20% discount for a limited amount of time. Wow. wow. I like to hear it. Dominic, we covered all my questions. Is there anything else that, that you want to add before we go? No, just really thank you guys so much for the opportunity. Definitely look forward to more. Um, I am working on starting up my third business. This is business. Um, that is definitely driving in a lot of value at this point. Mm -hmm. But um, I do love what you are doing. Um, we do practice what we preach. There are no problems. There are only solutions that are disguised as problems. And that's how we'll leave it. Helping people seize those opportunities. Dominique, thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you. So nice to meet you. You too. All right.